Why, hello there. I'm Maris. This is Game Requests. This is The Fabled Woods. Do want to give a thanks to the devs for giving me a copy of this. And this should be very interesting. This is a walking sim, but there's some deep, dark stuff going on. So, I'm starting us off in the beginning because there's some narrative and things like that. This is also not procedurally generated. So, and I know walking sims, quote unquote walking sims. A visitor? Oh. What do a I visitor. say? Ooh. It's been so long since I've had company. Oh, it's you. What I'm is that? Surprised. He's like, oh. Not a lot it's of you. other folks come and visit these parts. I should have known. You should already know me, but just in case. My name's Larry. I was here to be closer to my son, William. Every time I came back to these woods, I could feel him again. If only I could tell him how sorry I am. That's enough about me. We're here for you. These woods hold the answers to your questions. Everything will be explained soon. Oh. And this time, please pay attention. Is that so? Where's your son, Larry? Why are you sorry, Larry? What's going on, Larry? I love, I love, like, it's got this very dreamy look to it. With this, like, fog and, like, the, I should say, the mist, the coloring. It's, you know, I mean, look, the trees, the trees look great. I mean, they certainly could, but it's still, it's got that just overall atmosphere, this, like, dreamy, misty. Can we open it? No. Okay. Okay. I can certainly say, though, this would be a beautiful place to camp out. Sorry. Here we go. All right, so here comes the crazy. Going in the water. Oh boy! Like I said, the crazies. Quote unquote walking sim. So happy we decided to go camping. It's so peaceful in here. We're like frightening sim. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry too. Look at this craziness. 
Why is my life a mess? Like, what's going on? If this is how I have to recover my memories, maybe it's better if I don't get them back. Because, like, if I fall, I'm probably in trouble. What did I do? I'm gonna say that's me involved. Oh. Oh no. There's a body. So whose skull did I beat in with the stone? Because obviously there's been some interesting things going on. standing out here. No doing the crouchies. I guess we'll just move on. I can't move on. All right, so there must be something I need to do here. this anything no okay go back this way going back by the water yeah Is there something I missed down here? That's the stone, so... We gotta find something that's gonna jog my memory. Jog my memory. Good luck. Good luck. I'm a blonde. Sometimes that doesn't work very well. It's just, you know, something you gotta live with. Anything over here? No. Something over here. Let's just click things. Hmm. Oh. 
my oh occupanid I still can't believe that Is that house over there? That might be. Hey, let's go see Larry. Let's look for blood trails. Did I kill Larry? Or did I kill Larry's son? Is that why he was mad? That he's like, oh, it's you. Like, could you be any more nasty? Like, seriously. What a jerk. Let's just look. No, we're still... William's axe. <sighs> I remember taking him to town, letting him choose his first axe. Once we got back to the cabin, he couldn't stop trying to cut down every tree in the woods. There'd be <laughs> nights it would get so quiet, all you'd hear are the birds and the sound of that axe like a heartbeat outside. That would be me. I'd be like, chop them all down, and then I'd feel bad and be like, you know, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Look how good... This reminds me of Virtual Boy, this red. Except, like, hundreds of times better than Virtual Boy. I still loved the Virtual Boy. That's one thing I don't have in my collection. I need one. I thought those were the coolest things. Wario's Woods. So good. So good. So, was that a house? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely a house here. I was going to say, uh, am I losing my mind? All right, we're still clear from blood. Skeletons. Rocks used to bash people's skulls in, I take it. Because that would be the most effective way to kill someone with a stone. Especially one that's, like, big. You know, fist size. Mm, excuse me. A little bougie soda I got my aranciata orange my last one was aranciata rosa blood orange open the door larry Well, I see we're not taking care of things, Larry. Can I jump? I cannot jump. Cannot jump at all. I like the screaming when you do that. <laughs> it's like the spirits are screaming. This is where it all ended. This is where I drunkenly fell asleep and failed to protect my boy, William. Because of me, he drowned. I should have been there to protect him. Oh. But I cared more about the bottle. Oh. Well, I'm sorry I said you killed him. I did not know he drowned. 
is that what the body is? But no, I had a memory and certainly sounded like I beat someone skull in. Have you ever found yourself feeling like you're being watched? I decided to go to the lake and catch some fish for dinner one night. I had caught a couple, but I got this sense that something was watching me. I know bears roam these parts, but this was not a bear. I could feel it across the lake staring at me. I got up, reeled the line in, grabbed the fish, and went inside. I've never felt like that before. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, here we go. Hurrah! The place feels so empty without William, but it's held up well over the years. Okay. We're going in here. Okay. Look at this garbage. They were laughing at me. Told me to go back to the cabin and stay out of the sun for a bit. There is something or someone watching me out here. Why a wolf-like creature they would believe me. They need to be warning the people not to come into these woods until this has been solved. There is something happening out here, and no one will do a dang thing about it. Listen, Larry. I don't know what to tell you. You got keys or anything? Yep. William, Dad, Hank. Am I Hank? Hey, Larry, thanks for your letter. Yeah, it's really quiet out here. Damn good to clear the head again. Talking about no matter which direction you look, there are trees. All right, sometimes room crack by. Seen any rangers? Something strange going on out here. Talking about strange characters, another lookout sometimes reports to me on the walkie-talkie. A woman. She's been doing the job a lot longer than me, but I really can't figure her out. I'll keep you informed on my mysterious walkie relationship. Okay. Here's Dad and all that good stuff. Booze. Oh, suntan lotion. Apollo. Perfect name. Perfect name. But I got, I got the keys. Oh, that was the wrong door I was trying to go out. All right. Hmm. That's, that's the door right yeah so what am I looking for in here what are you looking for me to find secret reserve oh god it's like steel reserve Ugh. there's gotta be something Aha. Uh -huh. Oh boy. There's cages. Oh, for the love of God. Why can't I have peace? Is this guy feeling like, oh, Jesus. Is this guy feeling like he is stuck in a cage? Is that why we're, oof, oof, oof. I miss him so much. 
Is that why we're seeing this? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... I mean, I don't think he's keeping people in cages. But, like, then what am I doing? Because, like, obviously I've got issues, too. Why don't you let me leave this place? Gotta be something that we need to touch, trigger, or activate. I mean, there's the knife right there. So, why is there a corpse in there? Why are there corpses all over the place? <laughs> that machete was no use. I should have left this place when I found that cabin. I knew what I felt wasn't right. I just didn't know that night would be my last. I didn't know what it was, but what I saw in that cage had come for me. Whoever made that thing must have known I went to the police. This is where my story ends, drunk and scared in a corner. Is this how William felt? Alone and scared. <sighs> Your story carries on. So th you must learn the tales of This is Larry. They are what's holding us back. We all live with our actions, our consequences. But do you? Go now. There's someone else who would like to see you. Our good friend Larry. There you go. That's uh, skeleton number two, Larry, at least. I don't know who skeleton number one is. But as you can see, quite a bit more than just a walking sim. There's a lot going on. There's definitely the horror element to it and things like that. I think it's quite intriguing, and I think they did a pretty cool job. And again, the environment is really cool, too. So, obviously, it's not... I don't think they're going to go for any jump scares later on, but it's more that, you know, that just weird mental game, playing games, playing tricks, like figuring stuff out, some dark stuff going on. You know how that goes. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to GamerQuest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.